Hello everyone, my name is Shahin Khodam. I will perform in different teaching roles and levels and completing a series of graduate certificates on teaching, learning and assessment. I'm quite aware of contemporary teaching challenge. I have been trying to teach across different settings resulting in continuous improvement of curriculum, teaching resources and approaches. While the traditional and the generic techniques covered in the graduate certificate are useful, they are not adequate to address the contemporary challenge of teaching engineering units in the age of IT. In this video, I will present a brief selection of the technique and address the challenges. So the first question is what what it takes to teach at the age of IT and digital. The ever increasing body of technical knowledge that graduating students might command. The students expect to be able to create consume, remix, and share the information. Proper communication with students become harder. If students don't attend the lectures, then traditional techniques are not going to work. My first adjustment to the traditional technique. Am I right to think that a combination of podcasts and smartphones result in endless opportunities to teach? I have employed web-based engagement and gamifying tools such as Secretive in my lectures, tutorials, and assessments. These have enabled not only to prevent my students being distracted by their smart device in the class, but to use the device as an effective engagement and learning tool. Example of these are presented here. The next challenging question is, what is my role as a lecturer when MOOCs are widely available? I still can play my teaching role to facilitate, encourage, enforce, and correct. I only need to know what new tools to use and how to use them. Also, I help my students to judge the quality and credibility of the online information. The next challenge is difficult and unattractive nature of engineering subjects. Engineering units are increasingly seen as difficult and unattractive to young people. How we can attract more students to engineering, particularly female and pathway students. My solution is to integrate computer-aided projects in my units to make them more attractive to female students. It helps them to play an effective role in different engineering tasks. It also gives everyone more employability. Next question is how to impart to students a broad base of knowledge, skills, and attitudes. Successful engineers are expected to participate in real engineering projects, such as mechatronic projects with invisible borders. To teach using WW concept, which stands for to teach whatever, whenever, wherever. Surely technology would help to address these challenges. What technologies am I going to use the most? The first one is visual. Bigger screens and sophisticated interactive presentation software such as Prezi can turn a boring lecture into a heap. Group learning, that is essential for CDO and PBL. So my students will experience active group learning in and out of the classroom. Distance learning, thanks to the teaching technologies such as Canvas. Um, distance learning has become more advice. It only requires proper training. And assessment. Um, continuous assessment is a key tool for learning. It provides important feedback to students in a timely manner. Project computer labs and classworks are highlights of my continuous assessment. I have designed and successfully employed them in a CDO and PBL framework. CDO is an innovative teaching framework which it is the right tool for PBL problem-based learning. It emphasizes engineering fundamental in a PBL fashion. 